Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to my brand new series. This is the brand new playlist and in this playlist we are going to talk about uh, Svelte JS. So you might have heard about the Svelte JS. This is getting popular and this is different from whatever we are writing the Angular, JavaScript, and uh, Angular, React or any other framework. So it has a lot of special features which uh, due to which I started looking into it and then when I uh, started building projects I really like it. So there are a lot of things you are going to like uh, with the Svelte.js because Svelte.js is a framework which every JavaScript developer must see at least. It's not like okay I don't want to use it. I already have a uh, multiple frameworks which I can work with but there is something really different in Svelte.js than any other framework. The reactivity in Svelte.js is really different and really fast and you should look into the Svelte.js. So we are what we are going to do is we are going to write a lot of small applications and finally a couple of big applications. First we are going to talk about uh, simple examples. Okay. You, are, you already know that I put a lot of videos on different frameworks since the since the beginning I was covering angular JS, angular then react angular then a server side rendered framework like Next.js, next JS, Vue.js and a lot of client side and server side a lot of uh, videos I have covered but this Svelte JS is uh, really a different framework in a lot of different ways and that is what I'm going to cover here and you are going to like it that I can be uh, sure of here we are going to cover a lot of small scale applications and then we will see how we can uh, build a intermediate level applications and then deploy those applications so what we are going to do is these are like uh, some intermediate and uh, enterprise level applications we will build like I, I'm already covering uh, uber eats clone and there I'm, I am planning to use uh, one of the, the dashboard built by uh, Svelte.js or SvelteKit maybe SvelteKit is just uh, another add-on which allows you to server side build a server side rendered application it is same as like we have a next.js next.js similarly there is a Svelte kit so what we can do is uh, let's start and let's dive into uh, right away into Svelte.js we are going to unfold the mystery of uh, front end framework and we will see how Svelte.js is really different piece from other uh, frameworks so uh, this is the first this is uh, so now we can get started and uh, we will just talk about Svelte.js and the journey of the web development in like 20 years because uh, 20 years down the line we started using jQuery for the DOM manipulations and then we were writing the two tier applications there was a client and there was server so all the applications we built is just like okay there was a client and client is talking to the server and for that uh, those kind of communications we were just using plain as x and we were doing DOM manipulations using uh, jQuery after that we start evolving we released these different framework like AngularJS then uh, Angular, then React, then Vue.js and a lot of different framework really exist as of today. Okay, Svelte.js is also inclined towards JavaScript. It's not like a lot of new syntax and a lot of core syntax you are going to learn. It's more like plain JavaScript. Uh, but Svelte.js compiles the, the code base in its own language and then it sends the compiled code to the browser. Okay. So modern web applications you see whatever you are writing uh, in the React Angular what we do we write JavaScript TypeScript and then we compile it we use different syntax for React different syntax for Angular and Vue.js we compile it and then we send it to the compile output to the browser browser reads HTML JavaScript and browser is able to render that content on the UI so what 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 what, what is the major difference here because all these frameworks are doing the same job every framework is doing okay there is a data I can read it if there is a change you change something on the component okay I will re-render stuff on the UI 
so if you talk about these different framework like okay i have a react i have angular so what all these frameworks are indirectly doing they are trying to show the change because when user will be playing with the front end they will click here scroll the pages start interacting the pages the responsibility of these framework to do the change detections and show the changes to the user using their strategies okay somebody uses the re-rendering process okay user clicks or here and there user change something then they actually provides reactive interface reactive means there will be some change and then there is a re-rendering or reconciliation process starts and that shows the updated changes to the user now this is the really important part because all the frameworks differ in this strategy vue.js does it differently angular totally does it differently and the react react we, we, we were talking about okay having virtual dom in the react wherever there is a change it actually first apply the changes to the internal memory dom and then it applies those changes to the the virtual the, the actual dom which is available on the browser and it does using a diff algorithm diff algorithm and it is known okay this is the fastest okay so we are going to destroy a lot of myths about okay how the virtual dom works because this uh spelled js is reactive and it is not using any kind of virtual dom angular change reduction strategy also aligned with the virtual dom so the difference the major difference is the spelled js is very much reactive it knows how to react when there is a change happens on your component because we are going to at the end we are going to write the the components in the swell js similarly vue.js does it differently using object change object change reduction so that those are the major difference and we will try to see how swell js is trying to solve those kind of thing here we will also use some kind of a cli tool to create the Swell JS app and then we will see how it is different from any other framework. Okay, so I will stop talking the theoretical part and let's uh, deep dive uh, into Swell JS.